right so there's no no command events that take a single integer or float but we do have numbers and we do have floats so string string float All right mm, I think that might be the one we want to use there message filter okay we can add in our our commands here all right cool so let's uh let's wire up our commands to these filters so we need a method that takes a string a string and an integer Right, so the string would be the um, user that used the command. The other string would be the actual command that you're inter trying to interpret. And an integer would mean it has a parameter um, coming in. So we for the stop, we don't need a parameter. Let me look at the stop here. So we're just calling stop ping pong. I didn't see a parameter on that method. Right, so but we need floats for aim and power. Cool. So here in our code we can use either or. Right? So since we have an input controller, we're gonna use the input controller to fire these events. Okay, so that's our update. Let's define the methods we need. So public void uh, on stop ping pong. And we needed, this is, this is a little funky here. Okay, we needed nothing really, is it's no command. Um, need a string because we need to know what user fired that event so it's usually called a nick here in um, twitch and we need a string for the command that we're receiving and and that's it so for this method we're not taking any parameters we just want to stop the ping pong and then we can invoke. Thought we had a stop ping pong here. Hmm? So this is the uh, method we're gonna call when we call stop ping pong. Okay. So we um at this point we really don't care where it comes from. We just want to give it a test, make sure it works. Later we wrap it in um, methods and checks to make sure that it's the prop the right users turn before they are able to use the methods so we also needed a um, on aim and that took the same gamut of parameters but one additional parameter for the float value so that will be a float and I think it was an angle you would just call it an angle and one more method for power again we take the nick we take the command and the value for power when we're invoking an aim Go ahead and call this method uh, power. We'll call this method. So the power that we are setting is the power that that we receive from the from the in event. And this comes from the chat room. And we can do that for the angle. Uh, angle offset
would actually be a good name to call it. So the spaceman on the angle from whichever direction you're headed. Alright. And just go ahead and wire up a restart um level for testing. Reload build level. And that command is gonna take an int level here we haven't used an int yet so why not alright so that can easily crash if it's the wrong level being passed in so we only have uh, I think level 1 right now ok so this behavior mimics what we were doing before but they'll be received via the twitch chat room and we haven't opened any twitch chat code yet and we won't have to once we have we have already have working code and the asset was written to integrate with your working code 